guys, how you doing today? Um, I want to talk about what I use for my winter lighting uh, and my humidity. Um, I, I live in the north, I live in Ohio, so my plants cannot stay outside all year long, um, <laughs> unfortunately, but that is the way it goes. Now, I have lights set up all over my home. I have my birds covered up because they are being really noisy. There is my lighting. But I mean, you can use anything. This here, for example, is a floor lamp. I have them shining down onto my philodendron salome. And then it comes across and hits. Plus, I have window light. And then I have like a clamp light up here. This one I got at Walmart, but you can get them at Walmart. You can get them at, at Lowe's. You can get them at any box store. Uh, Amazon sells them. Anything. They're very, very cheap. And then, like over here, here is a different kind of clamp light. As you can see, I have it clamped on to my grow, uh, or my, my plant shelf. And this is actually one that I got at a thrift store. And then over here is another clamp light. This one I bought at Walmart. It was $10. Nice little clamp light. I use a regular house lamp and I have a hanging lamp and then I also have down here I have some ouch I just hit my cactus I have some regular um, of the purple lights for my cactus area that is a first time for me in a very very long time so, as you can see, I don't really have any kind of a expensive grow light. Uh, my plant room is the same thing. We will go in there later and here in a little bit and I will show you what I'm also using in there, in that room. But right now, what I want to talk about is the bulbs that I use are, I get them at Walmart. Now you can probably get them anywhere. They're just the LED general purpose and I do get the daylight bulb. And what I use is a hundred watt well it's a hundred watt equivalent but it actually is only a 15 watt is what it actually uses. Um, I get the medium base which is the regular the regular bulb base. The bulb looks like this. These light bulbs, these LED bulbs, um, they, they last forever. I think I got this box of four for, I think it was around $10 at Walmart. And they do last a very, very long time. They say 18 years, but I haven't had mine for 18 years, so I really don't know. But there's your lumens. And there is your cost estimated $1.81 a year. But what you want to look for now, the reason I get the 100 watt is because it is anywhere from 15 to to 1,999 lumens but you know it's also also going going to depend on how close you have your light like you can see mine are oh focus thank you mine are closer to some plants than others pretty much see how I have my lights set up 
I don't have my lamp. My lamp right here is not on at the moment. But I have my other light pointing towards my Monstera. But your, um, <clears throat> let's see here. Energy saving, it is. This is not focusing. Come on. Energy saving is 80% less energy used. The lifespan is 9 to 22 years of life. Now, I get, I don't get, uh, the soft light or the yellow light I get the daylight I really enjoy the daylight ball better than I do the soft and it is better you want that daylight glow for your plants um, when you now micro lights all stay on 12 hours a day so it probably is going to use up a little more than the dollar eighty one a year being the sun for twelve hours. But um, if you want your plants to continue growing, twelve hours is great. If you're just looking to get them through the winter you could do eight hours you could do 10 hours but 12 hours is going to be what is letting your plants grow for you and through the winter months getting you through the winter um if if you're i'm trying to remember I think there there is an app on like on your phone you can go into your Play Store and download an app that will help you place your your grow lights a little bit better. It will tell you the lumens that your plant is getting. Now you don't want to hold it up to the light, you want to hold it down where your plant is so you know whether you need to raise it or lower your light a little bit better. I keep mine all about the same length, height, I mean, and um, it does fine for me. I've used these LED, LED grow lights for many years. Um, so it, my plants continue to grow all winter long. So I continue to feed them all winter long. Now, if my plants aren't growing, I wouldn't continue to keep feeding them, at least not on a weekly basis or whenever I'm watering my plants. My plants have um, worm castings in them. I replenish the worm castings in each one of my pots monthly because the worm castings won't last, you know, too much longer than that. And then also, every time I water, I'm using a little bit of first fish fertilizer um, in that. It's a liquid first fish fertilizer that I put in with a gallon of water, and I mix it up that way, and then I go around and water all of my plants with that. So you don't have to go out and buy expensive, fancy grow lights to keep your plants healthy and growing. Now, I want to go in my plant room and show you what I'm using in there. Because that is where most of my tropicals are. And my orchids, which I need a lot of bright light for my orchids to, to, to continue growing and to uh, spike out and bloom for me. So, I will show you what I'm using in there. Okay guys, so in here in my plant room... I have all of my orchids. I have a shop light up there that is an LED shop light and each one of the bulbs are is a hundred watt fifteen a hundred watt LED bulb. I have a grow light up there also a hundred watt 
LED bulb. And up here, I don't have this one on right now. That is another one of these clamp lights that I get at Walmart or Lowe's or wherever you want to get them at. They're everywhere. And then I have two more there and back there that are all 100 watt grow lights. And my orchids all continue to grow all winter long. I have my Nepenthes in here. She continues to grow. Now I do have a smaller light the black or I mean the purple light LED grill lights down here on this shelving on these shelving units because I do need a little bit more light um, on my shelves but to oops this is my orchid one of them that is in the spike right now she is that is not a very good picture hold on there we go you can see it a little bit better this is my oncidium orchid sherry baby she is spiked out under these grow lights and is now budding i'm growing her in leka and she is spiking i have a cat Leia over here that is also in she's and will hopefully be blooming soon but all of my orchids are growing and thriving under these lights. You don't have to go out and buy expensive lighting to keep growing your plants. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is humidity. Here's my humidifier that I have here in my plant room. It is a... Uh, oh, I don't know what kind it is. I forget. I bought it on Amazon this summer. But I like this one because I can set my humidity. I set mine for here. I'll shut it off. I keep it on a metal tray so it don't ruin my table. It's an old cookie sheet. I turn it on. It comes on. And then I set my humidistat. 60 so that my humidity stays at 60% humidity in this room and then I set my mist wait there we go okay I want my mist full blast and then I keep it at 60 and then when it reaches 60 it will blink and my humidity shuts off the spray shuts off when it starts dropping a little bit it will turn back on and as you can see it does a pretty good job it's 73 degrees here in my grow room and right now my humidity is at 58% up high I keep mine up high so that I know and then I have another gauge well I don't see it oh I knocked I knocked it off but I keep another one right about in here on the lower portion and then I have another one over here and this one is reading 56% humidity at 68, almost 69 degrees. But these things are never all correct. So, but you just got to kind of roll with it. As long as it's close, I don't worry about it. But with, with my tropicals all being in here and my orchids, you know, I have to keep a warmer room. And a little bit higher humidity so I keep my humidity all winter long at around 60 65 percent it goes back and forth you know you but the problem is is if you keep your humidity too high uh, you're gonna have uh, mold issues and fungal issues not only on your plants but on your walls um, 
you're going to get mold growing. You don't need to have your humidity much higher than 60% to keep your plants happy. Um, especially with the orchids. I mean, the orchids need warmer and more humidity. But, you have to keep a fan going and moving that air around because when you don't have a fan moving you're going to have stagnant air which means all your humidity is going to be laying around it's going to get on your walls it's going to get on your furniture it's going to get on your plants and you're going to start having mold issues on your plants and you don't of course you don't want to have mold and fungal issues on your plants so you've got to keep your humidity around 60 and keep a fan moving if you can see my plants are all moving slightly you might not be able to see it but they are like my spider plant back there she's moving i have my fan on low right now but like yesterday, the sun was out, <clears throat> it made this room heat up more, which my humidity come on, my humidifier come on more often, so I turned my fan up on high. But in the evening, as it got darker, the heat lowered, which meant my humidity lowered, so I turned my fan back down on to medium. Um, I mean, and you, you just want to have air circulation. You can't have your humidity sitting at 80% and expect everything to go properly. Your, that's, your, your home <laughs> is not the tropics. You can't, you can't have a room that's 90 degrees with 90% humidity. I mean, it's going to cause a lot of issues in your home. Most plants, even our tropical plants, you know, like my, um, all of my tropical plants and my orchids are going to do great at 60% humidity and a temp temperature around 70. Um, <clears throat> I've never had any issues with mold or, or fungus or anything like that growing on my plants with it like this and my plants continue to grow all winter my orchids grow all winter i get i get a lot of root growth i get a lot of leaf growth and i get spikes and buds and blooms so just be careful you know and you don't have to go out and buy a fancy humidifier i got that one um, on sale it was on Amazon this summer I think I got it for like 30 bucks um, my other one out in the living room I got it at the thrift store for five I keep it on low it keeps my humidity in my room about 60% which is where I like it anywhere between 50 and 60% is great especially with all the heat um, you know your hair dries out your skin dries out your plants dry out you want to keep it at an even keel for you and your plants and you don't want to get it too high you don't want to get your humidity too high because it, it is going to grow a bunch of things that you don't want on your furniture on your walls and on your plants I, and i also have a fan in that room I have it shooting up to the ceiling and it blows up and down across all my plants because I don't have a ceiling fan in there so all the rest of my rooms in my house have a ceiling fan except for my living room and my plant room does not have one so I keep my fan going so you know I grow with all LED bulbs from the store I don't buy any fancy grow lights now I do I did buy this one and it's worthless it really is. It does not hardly have any light. It was a waste of money. And I will never buy anything like that again. It, it just don't put out enough light for my plants. Like right now I've got a lot of backlighting. The sun's coming in. 
we're having a <laughs> partially cloudy day, but, um, you know, guys, I just wanted to let you know, you don't have to have a fancy humidifier. You don't have to go out and buy fancy grow lights. Uh, it's a waste of money. I mean, you're controlling your environment for your plants, and it's important to know that you have to have good light, good humidity, and good airflow. You have to keep the air flowing in your house to keep your air from getting stagnant. So you're not breathing in mold and you're, you're growing mold on your walls and your furniture and your, your plants are not suffering from the same thing on them. Otherwise, it's just going to cause cause a whole bunch of problems that you don't need. But I think I covered everything. 100 watt LED bulb. I get mine at Walmart. The great value. They're cheaper. They're just as good as any other kind of bulb. Um, I mean, if you already have fancy grow lights, that's great. But for those of us that, you know, if you can't afford to go out and buy, you can use a lamp and put a 100 watt LED grow light on it. Um, you can go out and get a cheap humidifier. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Yeah, this one is great because it does regulate my humidity for me. It's the first time in my many, many years of growing house plants that I've ever had a humidifier like that. But like I said, I got it on sale. So, you know, that was the only reason I bought it. I would not go out and buy, me personally, I would not go out and buy expensive grow lines and expensive humidifiers. Um, I just don't feel I need it. And I've been growing plants for many, 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 many years. And this is what I grow with, and this is how I grow. So, alright guys, if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comment section, and I will try to answer them. And um, you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye!